we're back with more Super Mario RPG. This is part 7. And as you can see, Rose Town is looking a little more lively. No arrows are falling, everyone's moving, and we have a new upbeat song for the town. But unfortunately we can't stay because we've got places to go. So first, let's go back to the inn and show Gaz what happened to the Geno doll. Hey little fella, look who I brought home! Geno! You came back! Mommy! See, Mom? This is the Gino I was talking about! My, my! What a fabulous costume! It must be kind of hot for the person wearing it, though! Ah, forget it, Mom! Alright, Gino! Let's play! How I wish I could! But Mario and I must leave now to find... The missing star pieces! Star pieces? You mean like shooting stars? What for? Well... Oh, gosh, how can I explain this? Well, Gaz, it's like this. This is how it used to be. But now, it's like... Denied. This. Do you get it? Uh-uh. Nope. You lost me. Don't! Well... Let's just say that if things stay the way they are, your wishes will never come true. What? So you mean even if I grow up, I won't ever be strong and cool like you? No one's wishes will come true until all the star pieces are found and the star road repaired. Which is why I've chosen to join these two in order to find the missing star pieces. So that's it. Well, Mario needs all the help he can get. Gino, I have all- Whoa, 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 Mario! Take a step back, chill out, he's just a kid. You know, I have a lot of dreams. Please, go fix the Star Road and make sure they all come true. That's a promise. Cool! Oh, wait! <sighs> that kid's worse than the Chancellor. Wait a minute! This is yours, Gino. So take it along with you. The finger shot. Gino's first weapon, and we get it for free. Thanks for being a good sport, guys. I'll see you when I get back. And we're all good. Mario, how are we feeling? After that battle, I need coffee. Keep away! Yes, you look awful. Why don't you rest some more? And that's exactly what we're gonna do before we hit the road. So we go upstairs to reset the inn. And we're gonna stay for our usual freebie. Because we're such good sports to Gaz. Good night. And the other reason I stayed for another night is the introduction of our first cameo. That's right, Link somehow found his way into Mario's world and decided to stop in Rose Town and have a nap. There will be many other cameos much later, but for now, we're rested up, we're ready, let's head off on the open road. Now before we head to our next town, we're going to take a detour through the pipe vault. This place is actually an optional area, but it's still worth looking at, so let's go on in. In our first instance in which we encounter lava and these fireball enemies which we're gonna fight right now and I am an idiot I just realized I forgot to equip the finger shot at the same time I still haven't used that flower box I want from Boyer but it's all good we can fight these guys and we'll have no problems whatsoever but they're not to be taken lightly because look at that that stupid Sparky pretty much took out half of Gino's energy. So we gotta fight like we mean it. But there are much worse enemies further down the road, so... At least we're fortunate to be able to fight off. There we go. That could have been a whole lot worse, but then again, that was not my best performance either way. Anywho, let's keep on going, and hopefully we don't run into any more trouble. But before I get it too ahead of myself, let's put that finger shot on Gino. Oh, nice. A base attack of 60. And the finger shot brings us up to 72. Definitely gonna come in handy. Oh, wait. I'll also give him the true 4 pin while I'm at it. And heal him up, too. Hmm. And it seems to me we have more mushrooms than we really need. Might be time to get rid of a few. Same with the honey syrups, because they're becoming somewhat obsolete. Anywho, a lot of old enemies that we're going to run into here. Oh! 
Nice try, Swampo. And another new enemy, the Piranha Plant. And a Gold Shy guy that runs away. Now don't worry, a little bit later when I level up and get a little bit faster, I'll show off that guy and what he's all about. Not bad, but it could have been a bit better. There we go. These Piranha Plants are pretty durable for early on in the game. And they're kind of tough to block, too, because the timing's all sketchy. My timing for the finger shot's a little out of sync, too, but whatever. We win. The guys are pretty good to fight for coins, because they give you five coins a pop. But let's be on our way. We've got a lot of stuff to cover in this pipe vault. Starting with this pipe right here. It's kind of like a throwback to level 4 1 in the original Super Mario Brothers. If you look closely at the design, you'll understand what I'm talking about. And of course, hidden boxes galore. Nice. Alright. Now I believe in the second to last, which is this one. Bingo. Another minigame. Run by what looks to be a mole. Hey, hey! Step right up! Ten coins to do some Goomba Thumping. How about it? Sure, why not? You know the rules? Absolutely. I'll go over those once I start playing. It's easier if you stand in the middle. Okay, hit as many as can. Ready? Go! What you want to do is you want to jump on the Goombas and avoid the spikes at all costs. Some people find it easier to stand on top of one pipe and just bonk a bunch. If you hit a spiky, you actually lose a point. Come on. Quack. Come on, stop! There we go. Shit! Come on. This is not going the way I wanted to. Need a gold goomba. Shit! Fuck! And I'm out of time. That's not cool. Looks like you got yourselves a tough road ahead. Good luck. What do you mean a tough road ahead? I'm not finished yet. I'm playing again. I want that prize. Now let's do this again. And believe me, I will get this. Nice. Good way to start. Alright, now we're on the right track. Not falling for that one. Almost got myself into a bad situation with that one. Almost there. Almost there. Okay, two more points. Come on, come on. There we go. Now just sit back and let time run out. 20 points is all you need. And keep in mind, every time you beat the quota, you can play again, but you have to get two more points than the last time. So since I got the 20 points, I win. Now let's claim my prize. That was some thumping. Here's your prize. Next time, try and get 22 points. And our first prize is the flower tab. And of course, the prizes grow increasingly more in value. So let's use these items. When I say these items, my recently won flower tab, and of course the flower box, which I forgot to use after beating Bowyer. And we're good. And now let's be on our way. We don't have too much more of these sewer areas to encounter because the pipe vault's actually a very short spot. But it gets increasingly difficult once these piranha plants start coming in droves. There we go. There's one down. Please hit Gino. Tried. Really? What a douche. Right. There we go. Now let's see how well the fire will work on one of these guys. I mean, they are plants, so they'll probably burn no problem. Eat fire! <laughs> Incredibly resilient to fire, it seems. Alright, let's try and shock him into submission. That didn't do much either. Got 
stock. Right there goes Gino. Looks like it's down to just Mario. Well, I mean, now I can do some things, but not much with a Thunderbolt. Good, block that one. Dang! Guys, just don't give up! I'll take it. Alright, there we go. How much does he have left? Just out of curiosity. And what's he thinking? Pretty boring nowadays. <laughs> yeah, I'll say. Good night, Gino. Good night, indeed. Mario, hopefully you can finish him off with this one shot! Nice! Alright. Well, that taken care of. Let's be on our way, and hopefully we don't have to fight any more of these suckers. I mean, there are more to be found, but at the same time, I'll do whatever I can to avoid them. Oh, yes. And, of course, these chompers. You don't fight them, but if you touch them, they'll take away your coins. I'm gonna try not to have them take away my coins, because... I like money. Crap! I said I wasn't going to, and I still lost money. And this is the end of the pipe vault. And it seems we've arrived at a tropical paradise. So let's see where exactly we are. Oh, how nice! We're on Yoshi's Island! Oh, wait, let me check the map. Is it called Yoshi's Island in this game? Nope, it's Yoster Isle. But it's all good. Yeah, this is actually another optional area. And there's our pal. Mario, glad you finally made it to Yoster Isle, home of the Mushroom Derby. Say, now that you're here, we can use your help. Please talk to you, my pals here, and... What? You can't understand them? Well, hop aboard and I'll be your interpreter. Oh, yeah. Riding Yoshi never goes out of style. So let's talk to a few of these guys and see what's going on. It would be so much nicer if we could all race together. Ooh. So somebody is making it so we can only have one-on-one -on -one races. What are you, cracked? Races my life. I can run all day. Boshi here's the fastest runner, but he's full of himself. I'm guessing Boshi's the one with the glasses. What's his deal anyway? What are you looking at? If you want to challenge me, you have to bring cookies! Hmm. Thanks this is a big shot around here, huh? Boshi only races one-on-one, -on -one, so everyone can't join us. Bummer. Hey, Yoshi! Think you can beat old Boshi today? Of course! Here, take my cookies. Good luck. I'm rooting for you. Thanks! I've got major support on my side, so I can probably win today. So we get a few Yoshi cookies, and these are used to bet in a race. Let's take him down a couple pegs. So, you brought the cookies. All right, consider yourself lucky today. You've got yourself a race, one on one. It's our next mini game of Super Mario RPG. <clears throat> Hello again. Get ready. The Mushroom Derby is coming up. Want instructions? No thanks. I have a good feeling I'm gonna do this first shot. Now shall we go to the race? Yes, let's. This is as easy as it gets, man. Oh, we'll see about that. Basically, push A and B every time you hear the symbol. But since this is a virtual console, I have to push it a little out of sync. Gone! Almost there! Yeah! Almost lost it there for a second, but I win! Yoshi conquers all! Wow! Unbelievable! You just beat Boshi! Sorry today, Yoshi's the new boss around here! Since when have you been able to sprint like that? Oh well, I had my day in the sun. Let me give you a tip. Race someone slow. That way, you'll be able to stash away the cookies. But we don't need a boss. Anyway, I just want to race. Everybody loves it. Except for Boshi. Come on, Boshi. Let's see what you're made of. All right. Just stay out of my way. Oh, here's the cookie stash for the winner. Way to go, dude. You've done us proud. Thanks to you, Mario. I 
finally beat that rascal, and we can all race together now. Here's something to remember me by. We get Yoshi cookies. Next time you're in trouble, during battle, just give me a call. Alright. So I think the last thing I'm going to do before we close out the episode is I'm going to go back into the pipe vault and I'm going to show exactly what the Yoshi cookie does. And there's our perfect test target. Goombas and Spikies. You know, do the honors. You summon Yoshi, he eats the cookie, and swallows the opponent. And depending on who you eat, it becomes a different item. Let's see what works on the Spikey. Yes! And the Spikey becomes... a Bracer. And as for you, Mr. Goomba, I don't need another mush mushroom, so I'm just gonna whack you in a submission. Bye-bye! Alright, and fun was had by all. And you know what, since we got that Bracer, we could probably sell it at the next store for a bit of change. Speaking of... Oh, before we go, there's something in this mailbox that you can see. Honeymoon reservations for two. Mushroom travel agency. Nice. So somebody's gonna have a honeymoon here. Alright. Goodbye, Yostawile. I'll be back. Alright. That takes care of our mini-vacation episode of Super Mario RPG. Tune in next time, where we continue west and head off to Moleville. Until then, this is Jeremy saying, I love you all, rock on, and I'll see you next time!